Question 6. In geometric series, the first term is 23 and the third term is 92. And the sum of the terms in a finite series is 94, 185. How many terms are in the series? Well, so in geometric series, uh, we can write the terms as Tn equals to a r to the power of n minus 1, right? So basically the terms are, if the first term is a, the second term is a times r, right? Then the third is a times r square, and then we have a times r cube like this, correct? Okay? Now, we have first term as 23. That means we can write a is equals to 23, correct? Okay? third term is 92. So third term is, this is the first term, second term, third term. Third term is a r square, correct? So we can write a r square equals to 92. Okay? These are your terms, right? This is term number 1, this is term number 2, this is term number 3 and so on. So first term is a, so a is 23. Third term is a r square, which is 92, correct? So we got these two terms. Now from here, if I see ratio, if I divide them, if I write a r square divided by a, I've got 92 over 23, correct? So I'll divide one by the other. I'll say a r square over a is equals to 92 over 23, correct? So from here, a and a cancel and we get r square equals to 92 over 23 or r is equals to square root of 92 over 23 let's find out how much is this so we will do square root of so we'll divide 92 by 23 we get 4 and square root of 4 is 2 right so we get r equals to 2. Do you see that? So we get r like this. Now, the sum of the terms in a finite series is this. So you know r now, you know a, and you know the sum, right? You need to find how many terms are in the series. So you need to find n. So this is a good formula to use this time, correct? Now we know a couple of things. So we know a we know a equals to 23, correct? r equals to 2. And how many terms we want, but we know s of n. So we have s of n equals to 94, 185. We know all these things. So we know s of n, we know a, and we know r. So only variable left is n, which we can find, correct? So we'll use this formula s of n equals to this. Using this formula here, we get 94, 185 equals to a is 23, so we get 23 times r is 2, 2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1, correct? So we use this formula as of n equals to a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Now 2 minus 1 is 1. So we are left with this divided by 23. So you get 94, 185 divided by 23 equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1. Correct? Let's do that. 94185 9, divided by 23 is equal to 4095. So here we get 4095. 4095. I'll bring one this side, so plus 1 equals to 2 to the power of n. Now from here, we can find what n is. So what to the power of 2 to the power of what is 1496? That is what we need to find now, right? So there are a couple of ways to do it. Let me write this first here. We have 4096 equals to 2 to the power of n. 
we know 2 to the power of 10 is 1024 so 2 to the power 11 would be 2 times 1024 which is 2048 and 2 times 12 will be 4096 so that is how we get n equals to 12 right remember all this what is 2 to the power of 10 equals to 1024 correct remember that if you multiply once by 2 you get 11 which is 20 48 and then again by 2 that means 2 to the power 12 we get 4096 the other way to solve such kind of equations is to take log both sides right if we take log both sides we get log of 4096 equals to 2 times sorry n times log of 2 right and then we can find n from here n is equals to log of 4096 divided by log of 2 so let's try the second method log right so it says log of 4096 divided by log of 2 equals to 12 so we get equals to 12 here right so n equals to 12 so the same we got 2 to the power of 10 we could have also calculated like this 2 to the power of what is 4096 sometimes if log is not that calculator is not there with you you can try like this right so we know 2 to the power of 10 is this so you say 2 to the power 11 will be times 2 which is 2048 and 2 to the power of 12 will be 4096 so therefore we get our answer as n how many terms are in the series so we say there are n equals to 12 so there are 12 terms in the series okay I hope you understand the method that's a very good question and uh, try to go through the video carefully so that you take care of all the points thank you